Shall we solve this together? Welcome to today's lesson. We are asked to solve for the value of A. It's as easy as A, B, C. Okay? So trust me while we go through this step. Now, we have that A to the power of 3 plus A squared. Let's bring this in to be minus 36 is equal to what? Zero. This is cubic polynomial. All right? Now, how do we now solve it? That's the, the issue. We cannot solve this by factorization method. No. Rather, we can solve it first. We need to get the first um, factor of this using trial and error method. So, the first trial, if you say what, we are going to assign A to be a particular number and try it out to see if we are going to get zero at the end of the day. Okay? Now, if we say one, let A equals one. One to the power of three will still give us one. Plus one squared will still give us one. 1 plus 1 is 2, and 2 minus 36 is not equal to 0. If you try 2, still you are not going to get 0. But if you try 3, you are going to get 0. Yes, because 3 to the power of 3 is 27, plus 3 squared is 9, and this plus this will give you 36. 36 minus 36 is 0. So definitely A equals 3 is what? A root. So we have gotten the first one that A is equal to what? 3 is a root. Now, to get the second factor, because we need, if A is equal to 3 is a root, so it implies that A, if 3 crosses this equation, it becomes minus 3, is equal to 0, right? So, it means that A minus 3 is what? A factor. Now, we need what? A minus 3 is going to multiply another value, which is going to be a quadratic equation, to get this back. Now, we need to get that quadratic equation that will be multiplied by a minus 3 to give us this polynomial back. And the easiest way to do that is to use the synthetic division. Now, in synthetic division, see how we are going to do it. We already have our a to be equal to 3, okay? So, we are going to write our 3, and we are going to write out the coefficient of our polynomial. Now, the coefficient of a to the power of 3 here is 1. The coefficient of a squared is another 1. Now, there is supposed to be A, right? The coefficient of A, which is 0 here, is not yet. So, we are going to acknowledge that. Now, the, our constant is what? Minus 36. So, we are going to do what? Bring this down. Bring this one down, okay? Now, 3 multiplied by 1, we give us what? 1. We give us 3, sorry. Now, we are going to write that 3 here. So, we are going to add... 1 plus 3 will give us 4. We go again. 3 multiplied by 4 will give us 12. So we write the 12 here and we add. 0 plus 12 will still give us 12. So we have 12 here. So we now multiply again. 3 times 12 will give us plus 36. So we have plus 36. Then we add. Minus 36 plus 36 will give us 0. We are done. Yes. Because this forms the words, the coefficients of our quadratic equation. Now, the coefficients of our, uh, that means that our quadratic equation will be in this form. 1x squared. Remember, it's quadratic equation, so it's going to start from x squared. So, 1x squared, which is same thing as x squared, plus 4x, right? Plus 4x. Now, plus 12. Plus 12. So, this is going to be our what? Our second uh, quadratic equation. That means you are going to multiply a minus 3 by this to get to be equal to 0 to get this back. So we now write that a minus 3 bracket x squared plus 4x plus 12 is equal to 0. Okay? All right. So it's now obvious that a minus 3 is equal to 0. We have done that before. All right? Or that x squared plus 4x plus 12 is equal to what? Zero. Now we have that our a is equal to three. This is the first value of our a. All right. Now let's go ahead and solve this part. This is the interesting part. So, but before that, if this is the first time you are coming across this channel, please subscribe to the channel and on your notification bell. And don't forget to like, comment, and share. Okay. Ensure you on the notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Thank you so much. Now, for this, let's use um, the quadratic equation formula, which says that x is equal to minus b 
plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. Everything divided by 2a. Now, in this case, in this case, our a is the coefficient of x squared, which is 1. Our b is the coefficient of x, which is plus 4. And our c is what? 12, which is our constant. All right. Now, we have that x is equal to minus b. That is minus 4, right? Now, plus or minus square root of b squared. That is 4 squared, which will give us 16. Minus 4 times a. That is 4 times 1, which is 4, times 12. 4 times 12 will give us 48, right? This is 48, yeah. 48 divided by 2a. That is 2 times what? 1 which is still 2. Okay, now we have that x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 8 minus 6 is 2, 4 minus 1 is 3. So it's going to be minus 32, minus 32 divided by 2. So let's continue. Let's continue. So we now have that our x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of now this minus 32 can be expressed as 16 times minus 2 right so 16 multiplied by minus 2 divided by 2 so we have x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 dot square root of minus 2 everything divided by 2 all right now we have x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus. Square root of 16 is 4, right? We have 4. Then root minus 2 is the same thing as what? Square root of 2 dot. Square root of uh, root of negative 1 is what? I. So we are going to replace the root of negative 1 here as I. So we are going to have plus or minus 4 root 2 I. All right. Um... Everything divided by 2. So we have that x is equal to, we can factorize 2 out here, right? And when we do that, these two we divide through, okay, right? So let's just do it, shall Let's factorize 2 out here. We are going to have 2 brackets minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 root 2 dot i. Everything divided by 2. So our x will be this, we must uh, cancel this. We are now left with x is equal to minus 2 plus or minus 2 root 2 dot i. So these are the values of x. Okay, we have gotten the first value of our x, which is what? That. All right, note, in this particular equation, we are actually looking for the value of a, all right? Even though that the original equation of the quadratic equation formula comes with x, in this case, our x, our own variable is a. So this is actually our a, all right? Okay, so that means that our a is equal to, the first value of our a should be what? Minus 2 plus 2 root 2i. And the second value is what? Minus 2 minus 2 root 2i. Two now, 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 these particular values are complex. We don't really need it. That means that the only real value or the only real root of this particular question or this particular equation is that A is equal to 3. So that is the only real root. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day. Bye.